Chris, one all draw uh, against FC St Helens at, at Gig Line tonight. What were your overall thoughts on that one? Uh, very disappointing, mate. Um, look, I think I think we've had plenty of chances, at least in the first half, um, where we should have gone in a couple of goals ahead, but we still weren't happy with the performance at half time. Um, I thought at times we were, we were sloppy. We moved the ball really slowly. Um, I think like sometimes when we when we do that, we're, we're letting sides come and and just sit and gives them something to try to cling on to, which is what's happened today, really, isn't it? Like the um, and then even at the end, like they almost won it, didn't they? Which would would have been unthinkable, really, like on the balance of the, of the game. But yeah, you know, yeah. Overall, we've had some chances, but I think we were poor. Two enforced changes um, in the the starting eleven today with with Josh Gregory and, and Sam Coughlin um, coming out. Obviously, we, we mentioned their conditions um, at the weekend with uh, Bobby Carroll and uh, Bebeto Gomez coming back in. In terms of uh, Bobby and Bebeto, obviously they've, they've both sort of struggled with injury over the, the last week or two. Good to have them back in. Yeah, absolutely. I thought Bebeto was really good today. Bobby was good as well. Um, you know, they both tried to get us going um you know better was a constant threat up and down the our right hand side with with rusty wasn't he so the um yeah really pleased to have them back obviously we needed them um because we're quite light on the, in some areas at the minute after the weekend um and yeah good minutes for them tonight and then hopefully good to go on saturday and a, a second goal for for dj pedro um tonight uh is, is second in as it is many games. Uh, I guess it's it's good to get um, some consistent scoring form at, at this time of the season. Yeah, definitely. And you know, we've had conversations about that because out of our kind of front line, you know, R Rusty's been kind of carrying us a little bit. Um, so we've really needed somebody to to kind of step up the last couple of weeks. And DJ's come in and done that. He's done it again tonight. Probably he might, he might be disappointed that he's not had another one. Um, because he's had another chance towards the end, hasn't he? Where, he, where the keepers made a good save, but the, um, he's been good for us, um, and you know it's nice for him to, to get on the score sheet again. Um, hopefully, another one on Saturday. And we, we saw a return off the bench for uh, for Lewis Alessandro. Obviously, been again in and out over the the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I guess from his perspective, he, he's just going to need minutes to, to get back into uh, into the group. Yeah, absolutely. He's coming back from a groin injury, so um, it's one that. The tough injuries, those ones, and, like, and one minute you kind of feel like you, you're good, and then another time you know it's kind of you feel it again. But you know he's been okay the last couple of uh, sessions. He's been involved tonight, so hopefully we'll get him some more minutes coming up, and then he'll be okay going forward. But uh, one to monitor really. Looking ahead to the weekend, uh, a trip to uh, AFC Liverpool um, or is, uh, is on the cards. Obviously, a, a tough place to go. It's one of those sort of away games that's very much in the midst of a, a lot of home games in the the run up to uh, to Christmas. How key is uh, how key Saturday's going? Yeah, very key. Um, you know, we, we kind of had a target coming into a run of three games here. Um, we've kind of let ourselves down a little bit tonight. Puts more emphasis on that game now on Saturday. Um, you know, we need to see a reaction um, from everybody, from staff, from players, from everyone. Uh, to go into that game on Saturday um, and turn up, and you know, give the fans something to to shout about. And you know, this evening the referee has not helped at all. I thought he was terrible um, for both sides, not just us. Um, he completely killed the game from start to finish. Um, but we need to give him something to shout about, and we've not tonight. Um, so we need to do that on Saturday. Perfect. Thanks for time, Chris. Thank